Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropical 3 Absolute Power in the mission Deep in Oil and just setting up some more infrastructure and I probably should build more oil wells but that would really finish the mission quite quickly alright I almost have got enough for the bonus objective It's time for another bank. Terrain is really, really bad in this area. Which is a pity. This is Juanito with the world news! The Cold War has just gotten a bit hotter. Fearing a communist takeover, U.S. forces have occupied the Dominican Republic. Nations in the region seem hard-pressed to take sides in the struggle between the two superpowers. Right, let's uh, win the election again. And I'll reduce the pollution friend, over on this area. The importance of the upcoming elections has brought me before you. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us. But we must still push forward. <laughs> Pollution is a grave problem. We shall not deny that. However, the reasons are as clear as day. We all know that the environmentalists are to blame for all this. Through my years of presidency, I have received your gratitude, my compañeros. Alas, I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters, my employers. Now I bow to the superior morality of the religious tropicans, who absolve our sins in the face of God. The past is gone from our shores, but that is not enough. I will bring the future to Tropico. As part of my reform plan for my next mandate, the government will ensure adequate health care levels. <laughs> this speech is no propaganda. You will know it after our victory. Yeah, what I said. Anyway, so let's build more houses. And now for today's headliners. A recent bombing attempt has spread panic among the citizens on the island. Nobody knows where the next bomb will pop up. Why, someone might be planting one in your basement right now. Stay tuned to TNT, the radio that will blow your mind and make you come begging for more. We're still in debt, but looks like we're gonna win this one easily as well. Rebel attack again. There's just two of them. There's no real point. And none of the other factories are working. Uh, this one is back to work again. Rebels have been repelled. Uh, there's no need for fraud. Even the most cautious pollster would call this a landslide. This is Juanito. 
Quinto Tropical News today with the election results. El Presidente has won with a landslide victory. Surely the people will continue to stand behind our beloved leader in the years ahead. Yes, of course they will. Why would they not? Debt has been paid. And let's get some more entertainment going. How's the unemployment looking? Alright, definitely time to open the doors again. I think the housing problem has been solved somewhat. I mean, houses are cheap. But I believe this is probably as cheap as they can go. Otherwise they might as well be free. This is not going to be very pretty, but well, has to be done. Alright, so they should now be splitting the load. And let's reduce their pollution. Right, so what are people unhappy about? Religion, quality, environment... Yeah. It's a problem. This is Betty Boom, and today I'm furious! According to trustworthy sources from the palace, our treasury is as dry and empty as the Sahara Desert. El Presidente should be reminded that he needs to stop wasting our tax money on buying cars and apartments for his concubines. Juanito will try to tell you otherwise, but believe me, we're broke. Remember, you learned it here first. All right, bonus objective complete. How oh, very nice. And let's get the final oil well going. Hmm. Alright. There's nothing lost yet. Alright, that's plenty of money. Uh, let's issue the ideology book. National Day. This is Betty Boom, the voice of truth. Today I will expose the brainwash attempts of El Presidente. His new ideology book has been called the True Tropican Bible by the government. This could have been worrying if the book was not as stupid as it actually is. Well... I don't account for taste when I write those things. A new anti-leader ordinance has been issued today by the government. As always, perpetrators will be shot on sight. So remember, kids, think twice before you throw that bubblegum wrapper on the ground. And now, some music! <laughs> now, I might run into some food problems at this point because of... Uh, Oh, the snow. El Presidente addressed the rising levels of air pollution on the island by enforcing strict air pollution standards. 
Seeing how you could cut the air with a knife at the moment, I think it was about time such measures were taken. Yeah, plenty of money coming in. My story today is about the recently announced national holiday. A president wants to distract our attention from the crimes that the government commits by usurping the symbols of our nation in servitude of his regime. We shall not fall for such petty tricks. Only fools will rejoice in such celebrations. Well, plenty of fools to go around. Besides, who doesn't love a good holiday? Come on, that should easily fit in here. Oh, very well, I'll just build some houses. It's not the greatest way to fill up the space, but, well, something has to fit in there. Let's get the uh, secret police. And do I have any spare people? Nope. Uh, let's upgrade the wages again. Or, for the first time, actually. USA has declared tropical a failed state because of our inability to ensure the security of the oil industry. Our government has to deal with the situation and to ensure the eradication of the rebels over the period of at least 10 years. We might suffer a consequent action to dispose of a corrupt government. Presidente, this means invasion from the USA, unless we can crush the rebels. Or we could form an alliance with Russia in 10 years to stop the invasion. Mm. I don't think that's really a concern, actually, at the rate we're going. In I'll finish the game well before that time. Or this mission, at least, not the game, per se. Alright, a little bit of a bottleneck here. I don't know exactly how to stop that, because that's mostly construction crews right now. Alright, national debt again. Shrinking economy. As our economy shrinks, I hear Juanito telling us that not everything in life can be bought with money. Well, he is welcome to give me his salary, paid by El Presidente, and I will ask him again what he will think tomorrow. Alright, so the Americans are offering to help us so we can modernize our military a bit. Which cost us 4,000, which is really a pittance in comparison to what I am making. I still need a cathedral though. Well, actually, I don't need a cathedral, I just want to build a cathedral. And here comes the boat once again. Nineteen new immigrants. There's nothing else I really want to build in that category. Army base would be nice, but let's first get a cathedral. And let's get a marketplace for this uh, section of buildings. And we might as well connect these roads. Alright, let's also get the army base. That'll get me some more generals. And provide some basic health care for my soldiers. That has been paid and promptly I go into debt again. But it is fine. I'll just upgrade these uh, particular fellows. If I can. And now I cannot. Alright, they're sharing the load a 
Well, just about. If I can ever afford to build the upgrades for that, for that place, which I'm not sure I can, because I believe that requires power. I currently don't have any power stations, nor any real desire to build any. Right, nine more immigrants. Does that solve my problem? Nope, it does not. Uh, some people training. It's going fast enough, I guess. Entertainment demand. It's Friday night in Tropical, and people are out to have some fun. Some of the coolest activities include watching paint dry, listening to crickets, and counting stars. Besides TNT, the coolest radio channel, we really need better entertainment. Well, your people are spoiled. Right. So that's the cathedral. And we have made, well, almost. I th the next one might actually finish the mission. Another rebel attack on the well. That new rebel fad has grown out of proportion. They are attacking buildings now. El Presidente stated he is shocked and appalled by this unprovoked attack on the peace and democracy in Tropico. And I win! Ah, congratulations, Presidente. Despite all the difficulties, you have managed to keep your promises. Now let's have a look at those real estate offers in Dubai, Arabia. There you can enjoy life amongst your peers. Anyway, I have been you, you have been you, and I have been watching way too much Chandra. I will see you all next time.